Hello, and welcome to the February 2021 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. On the 15th, look for the four-day-old waxing crescent moon in the southwest. If you watch the moon at the same time each night over the next three days, you see it moves progressively towards the planet Mars. Each evening, the moon moves about 12 degrees across the sky towards the east from the previous day as it makes its journey around the Earth. On the 18th, the moon is just below Mars. This is a special day for Mars. Earlier that day, NASA's Mars rover Perseverance will have touched down on the surface of the red planet to begin a new journey of exploration. At the time of the rover landing, Mars will be about 205 million kilometers from Earth. A signal from the rover will take about 11 minutes to reach Earth. Mars is visible throughout this month, setting just after midnight. Looking south, the winter night sky is dominated by the constellation Orion the Hunter throughout this month. It's easy to find. Look for three stars in a row. Those stars mark Orion's belt. There are two bright stars above Orion's belt. Betelgeuse is the reddish star at the upper left, and Bellatrix is to the right. Below the belt is the star Seir and the brilliant bluish star Rigel. These four stars make up Orion's main quadrangle. See if you can recognize Orion in this picture. Here it is with the stars connected. Once you have found Orion, you can use Orion's belt to find the brightest star in the night sky, Sirius. Just below the belt is the Great Orion Nebula, or Messier 42. It's one of the brightest nebulas in the night sky, and it's visible with the unaided eye even in locations with some light pollution. A pair of binoculars will reveal its nebulosity. Through a telescope, it's a region of gas and dust lit up by newborn stars. The nebula is about 1,300 light years from Earth. Orion is just one constellation of the winter group. Here are the names of Orion's neighbors. In the early morning, the stars and constellations that you normally see in the spring and summer are visible in the southern portion of the sky. High above the southern horizon is the orange star Arcturus in the constellation of Bootes the Herdsman. Below Arcturus in the south-southwest is the bluish star Spica in the constellation of Virgo the Maiden, while low in the south-southeast is the reddish star Antares in Scorpius the Scorpion. We end the month with a challenging observation. In the early morning of the 28th, three planets are visible very low above the east-southeast horizon just before sunrise. To see them, you need an unobstructed view of the east-southeast horizon and a pair of binoculars to locate them. Jupiter is the hardest to find since it will be just over a degree above the horizon. And finally, here are the moon phases. Last quarter is the 4th, new moon is on the 11th, first quarter is the 19th, full moon is the 27th. That's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio!